In this video, I'm going to help you plan the most productive quarter you have ever had. Hi, my name is Andy Neary, CEO and founder of Complete Game Consulting, where we are on a mission to help 25,000 insurance producers sell their first $250,000 in business. And in this video, I'm going to help you ensure Q2 of 2024 is the best quarter you have ever had. Listen, I talk to sales directors and agency principals every single week, and one of their biggest challenges is helping producers manage their time. They tell me every single time, Andy, my producers are not good at blocking time. They're not good at focusing on their priorities. That is why they're falling short of their sales goals. So I thought, why not create a video to teach you how to plan a quarter by showing you how we plan our quarter here at Complete Game Consulting. And I'm going to tell you, one of the best tools you could ever purchase is this Clever Fox Weekly Planner Pro right here. I have used this for over two years to plan my weeks, my months, my quarters, and I could not recommend this enough. If you want to grab a copy of this, you can go to the link in the show notes below. I have an, a link you can use to purchase a Planner Pro. Now, why is it important to plan an effective quarter? Because you have got to go into April 1st knowing exactly what the game plan is for the next 90 days. I see too many producers who set lofty sales goals at the beginning of the year, but they don't have any kind of plan to achieve those goals. And before you know it, they get to May, they get to June, they're looking up at that lofty goal and they're nowhere close to it and they start stressing out. You see, one of the best things you can do is to think about your years in quarters. I see too many people trying to plan the entire year or sometimes multiple years. Personally, I think it's best to go at quarter by quarter. So here's what I want you to think about. With this being the last month of March, the last week of March and April 1st, right around the corner, I want you to start by sitting down and asking yourself, what are your top five goals for the second quarter? Now, not every one of these goals has to be tied to your business. You see, one thing I love about this ple uh, weekly planner is it forces me to focus on everything I have going on in my life, business and career, health and fitness, relationships, friendships, fulfillment, recreation, finances, personal development. When you look at that wheel of life, what are your five biggest goals this quarter? Now, as you write down those five goals, ask yourself, number one, why do I want to achieve this goal? Why is it so important to me? And the second question you're going to ask yourself is, what is my reward going to be when I achieve it? You see, it's easy to hit your goals, but not take a moment to pause and celebrate the achievement of those goals. So sitting down and planning your five biggest goals for the quarter is very important. Some are going to be tied to their business. Some are going to be tied to your personal life, but you got to know what your five biggest goals are going into the quarter. Now, once you know what your quarter game plan is, you break it down month by month. With April right around the corner, you're going to take a look at April and say, for me to hit those five big goals I have set for myself for this quarter, what do I need to focus on in the month of April for me to have success? Yep, it is important that you break it down month by month. The key is this, whether it be your monthly goals or those monthly priorities, they must be tied to those big five goals for you uh, that you have for the quarter. When I go into my months that take up a 90-day time period, a quarter, I look at those 90-day goals every single time I plan the month to go, am I focused on achieving those 90-day goals so that I can make sure that I am focused on what matters most, most each and every month? So you're taking your quarterly goals and then you're looking at it month by month, in this case, the month of April, and asking yourself, what do I have to do in the month of April? to make sure I am on track to achieve my quarterly goals. Then from there, you're going to take it one step further. Now you're going to take it week by week. You see, it's not only important to plan the quarter or the month. Your biggest job now is to execute the game plan every single week. But to execute the game plan every single week, you're going to have to make sure you're planning every single week. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is find time on your calendar to schedule a recurring meeting with yourself to plan your weeks. Mine happens to be on Sunday mornings. No matter what I have going on, no matter where I am, even if I'm on vacation, I make sure that I am blocking one hour to plan my weeks. And what I love about the weekly pro planner is it forces you to ask yourself six questions plan 
an effective week. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to look back at the previous week and ask yourself, what were my biggest wins last week? They could be professional. They could be personal. But what were the biggest wins I had last week that helped me move the needle forward towards my quarterly goals? Question two, what insights did I learn last week? Whether it be through victory or defeat, what were the lessons I learned last week that I can apply to the upcoming weeks? Question three, how can I be better this coming week? You see, growth is important. I believe you're either growing or you're dying. And you have to make sure you are challenging yourself to get better every single week. That is why I absolutely love this question. How will I improve next week? How did I fail last week, whether it be as a leader, a producer, a teammate, that I can use to make sure I get better next week? Now, question number four is to set the stage for an exciting week. What are you excited about with your upcoming week? What do you have going on, whether it be personally or professionally, that you're excited about? One of the most important things you can do in planning an effective week is get excited about the week in the first place. So this planner forces me to write down three things that I'm excited about. And I'm going to challenge you to do the same thing because you want to go into the week with some excitement, with some positive energy. From here, the final two questions now are focused on your priorities. Going into the week, what are your top three priorities for the week that if you only got these three things done, you could call it a successful week. Now, don't forget, if you get stuck on what your priorities are, always go back to your 90 day goals. What are those five 90 day goals you have? And what are your priorities this week to make sure you stay on track with those 90 day goals? And last but not least, question number six, of all those priorities you got going on, What's the most important? What's the one thing you have to get done this week to move the needle the farthest towards hitting your quarterly goals? You see, this is what effective planning is all about. Too many producers wake up on Monday morning and they have no clue what their priorities are going into the week. They wake up on Tuesday not knowing what the top three priorities are for the day. If you take time right now being the last week in March to sit down, look ahead, and plan an effective quarter, starting with asking yourself, what are my top five priorities this quarter? And then you look at April and say, what do I need to focus on in the month of April to make sure I am staying on track for my quarterly goals? And then week by week by week, take time to plan your week, but focus most importantly on the top three priorities every week. And then the most important thing, so you can make sure you are always taking one step forward towards those quarterly goals. It isn't fun. This isn't exciting, but this is what gets the job done because at that point, your only job is to execute consistently. So if you need help planning, go get yourself a weekly pro planner by Clever Fox. Again, the link is in the notes, but whether you choose to use this planner or use your own version, Planning an effective quarter is going to ensure you take your business to the next level over the next 90 days, but it's about being focused, being clear on what your goals are, and then making sure you execute on those goals every single week because you know what happens when you're clear. You get confident. When you're confident, you become consistent, and when you are consistent, you become unstoppable. Go make it happen.